chameleon in church, for example, and marry the chameleon. But to you, you marry the Christian. By the time you get back to the house, you see a chameleon. The real image come out because the image in church was that of. <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> but, but I tell you now, see the Rick. That is why if you're a man of God, you're a man of God on the pulpit, you're a man of God at home, man of God in the market, man of God wherever you go. Are you understanding me? You will not say, you know, you know, it's in the, the church that we are preaching. Now we're at home. We have to be the. I have to be the real me. There's no real you. The real you disappeared when Jesus entered you. Are you understanding me? We should see Jesus. We should not see you. You should you. Do you know salvation? Salvation means you have died, and Christ now lives in you. So you should not be a chameleon. You should be a Christian. This this is difficult to deal with so-called Christians. Sometimes it's fearful when somebody comes to an house and says, I'm a pastor. This you just have to develop some and just move away. No, no, no. Pastor, what? A pastor beat me last night. He gave, he, he told a lie that damaged my destiny. So when I see Pastor again, <clears throat> I don't that is not how it's supposed to be. Are we Christians or are chameleons? A lot of us are chameleons. We are not Christians. That's why we're not a part of the body of Christ. And look at, if you're not a part of the body of Christ, Satan will be your customer. You will keep going for deliverance until you die. If you, are, you Look at what the pastors will tell you. They will say, you know, there are certain cases we cannot be, be delivered from. You have to be going over and over. So you'll be experiencing relief. They pray for you. After six months, the demon come back. After nine months, the demon come back. That is not deliverance. That is called relief. Deliverance has preservation. And it only happens when you have joined the body. When you join the body, you don't know when the demons have left. When you join the body, of, you don't know when the disease have left. You won't know when the demon have left. You won't know when the poverty has left. Do you, you understand me? In the crowd, you believe that poverty is only dealt with by giving. But here is the grace of God that eliminates your poverty. Are you understanding me? Here, the pastor will tell you, I am your poverty killer. Here, you will know nobody can kill poverty. Poverty is not really having money. It's not having the presence of God that brings the money. Are you understanding me? What's the blessing of God? It's the presence of God with a man making things happen. That's what the blessing of God is. So in this place, the paradigms are different. Look at the problem we are having as the crowd of the spirit and many of other churches. Look at the problem we're having. The problem we're having is that we talk from this realm. They hear us in this realm. That's why they insult us. The day any of them join the body of Christ in the spirit, they will know we are not lunatic. The Lord said to me, I got so worried over the insult and all the nonsense. And I was praying. The Lord said to me, no, 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 calm down. You keep doing what I've asked you to do. When their eyes open, they will beat up their pastors. He said, when their eyes open, they will beat up their pastors. They will know they have been stolen. I mean, they have been stealing from them, lying to them, cheating them, and they have deprived them. The Lord said to me, there will be people that will beat up their pastors because they called you a liar. Because the people will realize that what you say is the truth. But now the veil is on them. And the Lord said to me, the season we have entered, I'm removing the veils. God is removing the veil. Oh yes, the veil is over. The veil will be removed by the suffering moves of God. And the lying will cease. The cheating will cease. And everything you tell them, they will not believe you again. Because the veil will be removed. One of the major enemies you and I have to fight every day is the chameleon spirit. We are called to be Christians and not chameleons. If you choose to be a chameleon, you come to church, you conform in holiness. You wear the clothes from neck to toe as you are holy. As soon as you leave the church, when we see you on the road, you are a big harlot. You appear as a harlot. You are a chameleon. You know how to conform. You know that when I'm going to church, I should just appear as if I came back from 20 days fasting. But on the road, you live anyhow. You're a chameleon. If you cannot live the Christian life that we see you on Sunday morning, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, down to the next Sunday, you are a chameleon. You're a chameleon. If you cannot live that prayerful life we see you on Sunday, you pray and you shake. Go and pray and shake also in the house. Study the Bible, live the Christian life. Are you understanding me? That is why we are saved. We are not saved to sing songs. We are saved to live the life. Don't be a chameleon. Be a Christian. That is the message this morning. Be a Christian. The chameleon spirit, it conforms. It behaves according to the acceptable conversation and standard. And look at what happened. 
the three Hebrew boys refused to be chameleons. When Nebuchadnezzar told, so if you hear the sound of the music, you must bow. They said no. And the Bible says, the music came up. Everybody bowed apart from them. The question is, there were Jews in that nation. Hundreds, thousands of Jews were in Babylon. They also bowed. Is it not the same law of Moses all of them read? Why is it that the Jews bowed, but the three Hebrew boys did not? The three Hebrew boys decided to be Christians, paraphrase. And but the rest decided to be chameleons. The chameleon spirit will tell you, the Lord understands. Just bow physically, but don't bow in your heart. It will tell you, God will forgive us. It will tell you how merciful God is. They will never tell you how, how tough God is against sin. How judgmental it can be in the days of fury dealing with sin. But it gives you all the reason to conform to the system of this world. When you're under pressure, you forget you're a Christian. When you are in need, you forget you're a Christian. When you are elected to a position in government, you forget you're a Christian. You now see the place as a territory of stealing and accommodating everything. I said to myself one day, if all the politicians on earth who call themselves Christians were not chameleon, there would be no corruption in nations. Are you understanding me? Because if you check, even the presidents in the world, majority of them are born again. Something just happened in the U.S. yesterday. They just elected their new speaker. And you look at them, the conservatives, which are the born against, stood so tough, trying to demand some things before they, has, they voted for him. It, it went about 15 rounds. And the guy finally went. Well, I, know, I, I follow them and I know who they are, some of them. And I said to myself, if these guys who, who now are speakers of the U.S. Assembly, if they can stand as Christians and not be chameleons, they will do away with the nonsense with the stronghold of corruption that is being built in that place. Are you understanding me? If everybody who calls himself a Christian is a Christian indeed, there will be no corruption in our nations. But many of us are chameleons. We are chameleons. We are being confused. Instead of us to say, I am brother chameleon, you say, you are, I am brother, I am, I'm brother that, I am born again, I'm a spirit field. Instead of you to say, you are sister chameleon, you say, my name is sister this, I am born again, I'm a spirit field. Who we'll ask you? You don't need to tell us that you are born again. If you are born again, we'll smell it. We'll smell it in your character. We'll see your conduct. Only a chameleon talk that nonsense because it wants to conform. If when a chameleon meet those who are born again, Buana as if you were. When he meet those who are not born again, it, it Buana other things. You get my point? It, 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 it just depends on the environment. Are you understanding me? But the days of the Camino spirits, however, God is calling on you, the body of Christ. Rise up and get integrated. You will see a crowd. Join the body. When you join the body deliverances, I have studied the life of people who are jumping about looking for prayers. They are chameleons. There is no genuine born again child of God who is in need of deliverance. I have not seen. I have studied. I dealt with them all over the world. All kinds of calls. By the time you are talking, you are talking, you now know. Mm, this one says a Christian. And the funny thing is that they will, they will tell themselves, give themselves a lot of accolades. Uh, I am the Lord. <laughs> Shut up! Where is the fruit? If you know the Lord, look at what I showed you here. The revelation of Jesus brings rest to you. What did he say? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Have you found your rest? That's the question now. The day we become the body of Christ. Listen, the day we become the body of Christ, we stop being a body of chameleons. The day we move from being body of chameleons to body of Christ, there'll be no oil carrying pastor in the church. There'll be no water carrying pastor in the church. There'll be no altar raising pastor in the church. There'll be no scammer in the body of Christ. There'll be no, you know why? There'll be nobody in need of deliverance. Everybody will know the Lord. And that is where we are going to. Are you understanding me? But sadly speaking, there's going to be a generation that will not go with us. Because they have made so much money from this nonsense. The chameleon spirit has become an industry in the church. It's actually a money-making system. Do you know that there are, there are local churches you go to, if you're not a chameleon, they will, they will spell you. They will call you names. They will say you are deputy Jesus. They will say your holiness is too much. If you refuse to be chameleon, they call you names. Because the system is a chameleon system. Are you, are you understanding me? And, but it has posed as a major internal threat to us. Because we are not becoming the body of Christ. And many of these things, we are not going to realize it until we fulfill our days and close our eyes in death. Let ye that have an ear hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. God bless you. I want to conclude. How do I position myself as a Christian? 
How do I move from being a chameleon to a Christian? Nobody can be a Christian until you have been discipled. You don't become a, a Christian by reciting the sinner's prayer. The chameleon is in nature. Christianity is also in nature. Christianity is the nature of Christ in us. Are you understanding me? The chameleon spirit is just that nature. You try to conform and all of that stuff. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Romans. We close on that score. Romans chapter 12. How do I move from becoming a chameleon to a Christian? Because that is the key to becoming part of the body of Christ on earth. You can be part of a, a church group, but you're not part of the body. Romans chapter 12. Verse 1. I'm going to close shortly. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. Are you there? Can we be on our feet and read that scripture, please? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you do what? Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So I'm raising not all sacrifice. Present your body. Holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Whenever a pastor asks you to raise an altar, say, shut up. Are you not respecting man of God? Man of God will not lie to me. Shut up your mouth. Teach me how to present my body as a living sacrifice to God. Not how to give you sacrifice. Scammers. Look at verse 2. He said, and do not be conformed to this word. Do you see it? But be what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. A child of God must be a radical opposition to corruption. A radical opposition to sin. A radical opposition to iniquity and trespasses. A child of God must not conform to this world. Rather, we are to transform the world to conform to Christ. Are you understanding me? How do I move from being a chameleon to a Christian? Expose your spirit nature to Jesus to transform you. That is all. Find a church that can help you expose your spirit nature to Jesus to transform you. Let me pray for you. Oh, to Jesus I surrender all, to him I freely give. I will ever, I will ever love and trust in his presence, his presence. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. church in this hall that you have spoken to us today lord i pray that this word that you have sent upon us like a rain will not return to you void it shall accomplish what you please in our lives and the life of everyone who have been part of this service in the name of jesus i pray oh god that your holy presence that have exposed the chameleon spirit will expel it from the heart of everyone in the name of jesus christ i pray that let this word keep ringing our spirit until we all get integrated into your body in the name of jesus let the days of communion christianity be over we declare them over in the name of jesus we declare them over in the name of jesus thank you father for your faithfulness blessed be your holy